If you liked the video, please like and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment. Maybe there's another song or artist you'd like to see me cover. Check out my Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. You're going to get a PDF of this lesson and hundreds more. And finally, my podcast, John Teaches Guitar. All right, let's just jump straight in. We are in standard tuning, and there's only a few chords. We've got C, G, F, and A minor. Now there are some transitional chords that we'll talk about when we get to the chorus. First off, let's take a look at the intro and the strumming patterns. So there's a couple of strumming patterns happening. The majority of it is just going to be down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And if you want to practice that particular strumming pattern, there's going to be a link uh, below in the description at the end of this video where I'll uh, go over that a little bit more. And then the second strumming pattern kind of has a groove to it or a pocket to it where it's down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. And I'll also have a little section for that strumming pattern if you want to practice it at the end of the video. So there's two guitars in the song, so we're kind of combining them. Uh, one of them is straight ahead pretty much the whole time. And the other one introduces more the more that rhythm. So right in the intro, we've got a little flourish into the A minor. So it's a real quick down up down, and then it starts. Then it goes to F, and then another one into C, and then G, and then I start bringing in that rhythm on that C when I am singing it, which I do occasionally. So let's practice that flourish into A minor and then the flourish into C. So one, two, three, four, F, C, G, C. Let's do that again. One, two, three, four, F, C, Now we jump into the first two verses, back-to-back -back verses. You can think of them as two separate sections or just one long verse. C and G are the only chords needed here, and it's going to have that uh, that pocket strumming, which I'm going to do probably for most of the song, with the exception of the chorus. And so we've just got... Some told me long ago There's a calm before the storm I know that's the G. And then it's going to go back to C gonna repeat and it's so so they say and now to G back to C so let's do that all together C to G and I'll call out the changes before it happens so one two start with C G. Back to C. Stay on C. Back to G. Back to C. might notice me breaking my strumming pattern a little bit before the chord changes and it just sort of feels like he does that live or on the record and it kind of helps build into it that sort of helps with the transition let's take a look at the chorus the chorus is going to be the same every time it's going to start with f then g and then C walk down to A minor and the G F G C walk down to A minor and the G and then F G and C So let's talk about what's happening there on the walk down. The walk down is going to start with a C chord. 
and then we're gonna go to C with a B in the bass. So you're gonna go from the third string to the second string. And I'm using my third finger for the C chord and then my second finger for that B note. And then we're going to A minor. And then I am reaching up with my pinky, grabbing that third fret on the sixth string, that's that G note. And then going to the F chord and then the G chord. So that little section, let's start with the C walk down. So it's C walk down, A minor, G in the bass, F, G. Let's do that again. C, C walk down, A minor, G in the bass, F, G. And then it's gonna go C at the end of the chorus. Let's do it all together. It starts with F and G. One, two, three, four, F, G, C, walk down, A minor, and a G, F, G, C, walk down, A minor, and a G, F, G, back to C. All right, we're at verses three and four. Verses three and four, same as verses one and two, just C's and G's. Won't you play it with me? One, two, start with C. It's the day and days before. G. Back to C. Next verse, C. We're at a chorus, and it's basically a double chorus. Um, it's that F, G, C walk down pattern four times. So it's gonna go. I wanna know. Walk down A minor and a G. And then it's gonna do that again. Walk down A minor and the G. And then it's gonna go F. So it's gonna do that little section that we just played. It's gonna do that two times, and at the end, it's gonna to go to a G, not a C. So, double chorus at the end, play with me. One, two, start with F, G, C walk down. Repeat that whole part. F, G, C walk down. F, G, C walk down. A minor at the G, F, G, to C. Right at the end. That's the whole tune. Hello people from the front of the video that wanted to work on the rhythm parts. We're gonna start off with just the down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up part. I am gonna start you off with a little metronomic-like strumming, is that a word? So it's gonna be one and two and three and four. So you might wanna just practice that first. I dropped my pick. All right, now let's do it with some chords. I'm just gonna use the C chord, so let's do that all together. So one, two, three, four. I wanna stay right on that beat.
All right, let's take a look at the beat with a bit more of the pocket in it. So what I'm doing is I'm doing a little bit of a palm muting on the side of my right hand, and I'm also lifting up just ever so slightly. You could probably accomplish it without lifting off the fingers, but I like to do that. It's become a habit. Let's go through it together. I'll start off with the metronome. One, two, three, four. It's down, up, chuck, up, down, up, chuck, up, down, up, chuck. Now the C. Keep going. Keep going. One, two, three, four. If you want to revisit either of those rhythms, just back up to that little spot we just started at, and you're good to go. Well, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment. Maybe there's another song or artist you'd like to see me cover. Check out my Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. You're going to get a PDF of this lesson and hundreds more. And finally, my podcast, John Teaches Guitar. See you next video.